What do you see? War? Shelling? Something unclear. In fact, what you see is global hunger. Did someone just say... Oh, stop exaggerating. How could the war in Ukraine affect the whole world? Well, here are the very numbers. In 2021 and for many years before, Ukraine has been the second largest supplier of grains for the European Union. Hmm. So if you ever heard of Ukraine described as the breadbasket of Europe, that is why. Since February 24th, Russia has been doing everything to keep Ukraine from getting its grain to the rest of the world. The Russian occupiers have blocked Ukrainian silos, stolen the country's grain, and tore its wheat fields. Looks unfriendly. Against all odds, Ukrainian farmers are trying to find ways to deliver their grains to the world by trucks, by trains, down the Danube River to finally reach other countries' ports on the Black Sea, Baltic Sea and Adriatic Sea. But needed volumes just couldn't be processed via these routes quickly enough. Last year, Ukraine alone produced about 80 million metric tons or MMT of grain, including wheat, corn and barley. A single MMT of wheat contains about 3.4 trillion food calories. That's enough to feed every person in Europe for about two days. Now multiply this by 80. These food supplies are enough to feed more than 400 million people for almost half a year. Oops. In 2022, Ukraine could harvest and ship less than half of that. No. Sure, the world can make it up. If the population of a country like the UK will stop eating for three years. Yikes. Is someone saying, well, there are so many other things to eat. Sure. By the way, these escargot on your plate are from Ukraine too. Ukraine exported 844 tons of raw snails to the European Union in 2021. That is four times the export volume of the true Ukrainian speciality. Salo. But let's return to our grains. Of course, not everything Ukraine produces is intended for export. And not all the export is intended for Europe. The main importers of food from Ukraine are countries in the Middle East, Asia and North Africa. This, according to United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, means that Ukraine alone provides more than half of the World Food Program's wheat supply. Their breadbasket is being bombed. Bom, bom, bom. Ah, do you hear that too? These are the sounds of tropical deforestation provoked by sourcing palm oil, the closest alternative to sunflower oil, a commodity Ukraine has been the largest world exporter for years with China, India, Netherlands, Spain and Italy heavily relying on it. Now all these countries need to opt for less healthy and less sustainable substitutes. But we love forests and we want them to stay. Every day, Ukrainians are doing everything they can to stop all that and change things back to normal. Support our efforts. Donate to stop Russia spreading the world famine.